All right, guys, welcome back with part two of this video. And as I wait for this to get warm so that I can start doing the soldering, you're going to need one of these with a bunch of solder or the metal that sort of you can melt into position. You're going to need these two cables so that I can make one of these. Uh, now, you can buy these online and you can buy the separate bits online. And the beauty of hobby grade version of RC cars and vehicles and all that is that they're so versatile like you can grab a remote control like this one and it will work with it or you could use one of these which I don't prefer but they still do a pretty good job um, and then pretty much once you buy a chassis like this one um, it could last you a lifetime. You just make upgrades and do this and that and the other until you get what you need. So another thing that I'd like to tell people is if you live in Irvine, California, in Woodbridge or anywhere in the nearby area, just let me know if you have a chassis of this kind um, that you're not using anymore, whether you're just you know letting it rot in the garage or if you uh, were just driving it around and a truck just ran over it doesn't matter because the parts on these things are all reusable and um, so long as they're completely not smashed to pieces the majority of the parts are totally reusable and so I don't have a huge budget when I make my projects so I will take any spare parts that exist even tires that have been used over and over again I can reuse those um, I can reuse suspensions motors batteries whatever ESC's everything I recycle everything nothing is too damaged for me to be able to put it into one of my vehicles and get it running so that's something that if somebody wants to donate some broken old parts to me that would be awesome all right so this thing is now warm enough and in the next video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start stripping this down a little bit more so I have more things to work with as you can see here this is all buried inside the rubber so I can't use it I gotta strip this down so on and so forth and then we'll get going and I have one of these nice thingy majiggers that I can use to cover up the metal so that things don't interfere with each other and I got this from Lowe's. Heat shrink tubing is what they call it. All right, so see you in the next one.